is actually a scientist's worst nightmare. The, the very thing that we've been trying to talk to people about is actually unfolding right now. And so I think we need to come to terms with these irreversible losses. And I think that's something that I started to come to terms with, realising that we are part of this generation that are witnessing the destruction of the Earth. I can take everything that you love, every place that makes your spirit soar. There's no way of really describing it because it's, it's a profound sense of grief and loss and something that's infinitely precious that's slipping through your fingers and that's all there is and it's going to go. And I think it's one of those things that when you feel that if you call for help that someone will respond. And I think there are moments where I feel like abandoned in that space and it feels like the bleakest landscape you can imagine. I guess the main thing is if you think about your life and your kids and your, your, your own culture and existence on the planet and think that that might not be a given. For instance, in a country like Australia that we've now lost 50% of the Great Barrier Reef in just a handful of years, 50%. And it means that there are people that have kids right now that will never see that that they'll only learn about that from David Attenborough documentaries or, or archival footage that exists. And I, and I think that's profoundly sad. It's the largest living organism on the planet and we're watching it collapse on our watch. And for me, as a scientist, that, that becomes heartbreaking. Understanding that we're, we're losing things right now, the things that are irreplaceable, things that won't come back.